Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, in this video, I'd like to share with you. Um, since we are outdoor, let's talk about the experiential learning cycle. Okay, the experiential learning cycle or spiral uh, in recent uh, studies uh, by Cope explains about how uh, we can fast forward the learning process through experiential uh, activities. So, as you know, um, the main point of doing experiential learning activities is to get people to understand that every action has consequences and the process of going through the cycle, starting with giving them the opportunity to try an experience, uh, followed by uh, reviewing, reflecting on that experience, uh, getting people to um, connect the dots in terms of abstract conceptualization and of course uh, we want them to take this uh, back into the real world application uh, in the final phase now uh, this particular theory is very good if you start off a training session by introducing the concept followed by giving them an example explaining the example in terms of how the application of the concept is being done and then, then you start off with the cycle, giving them the opportunity to practice through an activity or an exercise. During that activity and exercise, the trainer needs to observe carefully what happens. Then, uh, the trainer needs to give uh, the opportunity for the participants to reflect based on that observation. So this is done by means of doing a debrief. Now, in debrief, there are many, many questions you can ask. The most popular question would be, uh, what did you learn from the activity? Now, you can follow that up by asking them specific questions based on your observation, asking them why they took that action and what they saw in terms of the consequences of those actions. You get them to also think about what could be done better and then wrap it up with the fourth and final phase uh, of the cycle by asking them to discuss and come up with ideas on how to apply their learning based on the concept that was shared earlier back in real life uh, scenarios. So, hope that helps. Thanks for tuning in. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Stay safe.